they should say it. That's right, and, I'll, and I'm going to take that same position. I don't know See, no, I, I knew neither of them wanted to all add right, to your statement. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what, that is true, but it, it's What I'm good. saying is that all I know is what I've heard from other people, and I have not heard constructive things. And I've had friends who have taken the various courses and end up more scattered than ever, so yeah. that right. could still be a right. personal thing. And I've so heard negative unfair. comments about it, too, yeah. I'll add that, but It'll I know really nothing about it. All right, then before I ask about Uri Geller, I think maybe I should ask another question. Do each of you feel that it's important for individuals such as yourself to be honest with the world about others that are delving into the same life experiences? Or do you feel that others should find out for themselves? In other words, if you thought somebody was a crook, yeah. or if you thought somebody was a charlatan, mm -hmm. or just a complete fake, would you be able to say it, or would you hold that information? I know that's a hard question. Yeah. But I guess I'm asking about, is there an ethic among individuals in this area? I, I don't really, I don't know. I feel that uh, if it's someone that you see is getting hurt, you can perhaps counsel them a little bit. But I, as far as actually expressing an opinion to an outsider, someone who's saying, should I go or should I not right. go, that you don't know them personally. I mean, they're just a stranger to you, too. I'm not, I'm not talking about the psychic or the astrologer or numerologist or whatever. I'm talking about the individual going, seeking counsel. I feel this is something that, in my own opinion, it's best to stay out of, because if mm -hmm. you say something negative, then this just reflects on you that perhaps you're jealous and it comes up, you know, there's many petty jealousies or whatever amongst people, and I feel that you're getting into an area that you're just better off to remain out of. If the person is not good, the reputation will precede them, uh, they'll find out about it. You know, if they go and have an unfortunate experience, I'm sure they'll never go again. But I just, I think that's something they have to experience themselves, and yeah, I don't really think we should. Every experience we go through is a proving ground, in other words, for our self-development. And I'd like so much to teach some of my friends how to enlighten their lives by becoming less this and less that. But if I just snap my wand and say, okay, now you won't have to have pain anymore through this experience, what do they learn? Not much of anything. They don't learn from themselves. They don't really value the transformation that I might have accomplished with my magic wand. And so I think I've learned by now not to preach, for one thing. <laughs> you know? Well, I'm still more opinionated than the rest of you, Ben, a little bit. Maybe that's my tar suspender. I feel like it's a fine line. The thing you're talking about is an extremely fine line. I feel that as leaders in the field, in Atlanta or nationally or any other place, that we have an obligation to be honest with people who do not know as much about the field as we know. Mm -hmm. But we also have an obligation to be ethical mm -hmm. and to be considerate and to be compassionate with the people that we are reporting on or commenting on. Because unless you know, unless you walked in their shoes for a while, you don't know what their life pattern mm -hmm. is. That's there are people working in the field that make me uncomfortable to think that they're even involved with it, acutely uncomfortable. Yeah. But I've also heard good reports about the work they've done with individuals, with certain people, uh, with, with some people that I think are just doing just you know horrible things I keep getting feedback about how great they are how much they help this person how much they help the yeah. other person and so at times a person that I feel is not that well qualified or not that well balanced I still get a lot of positive feedback about them occasionally I get negative feedback about them well I'm, I'm personally thinking on the national inter internationally known people like Geller David Hoy mm -hmm. Jean Dixon Mm -hmm. What kind of feelings do you, can you express any feelings about them? I know David Hoy fairly well. I've, I've uh, heard him lecture four or five different times. And over a period of about the last four years, and every time I've seen him, he has become more and more mellow. The first time I ever heard him speak, his entire program was just cutting down everybody in the field. Everybody was a charlatan. And the last time I heard him speak, he was being much more balanced, much more modern in his approach. I like the man very much myself. The things I've heard him say, I had to agree with, even if I thought his presentation was a little harsh. Do you think that he truly is psychic? Yes.